Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're continuing on with our IFB. Now, as you guys can see right here, it seems a little bit big. Honestly, it seems way too wide and not really long enough. However, I don't mind that. I actually think that it's okay. It's an infantry fighting vehicle. It doesn't have to conform to normal respective things and stuff. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to de delete actually this bit on the top and we're going to redesign it to look a little bit nicer. We're also going to try and put in a camera so that we can actually see when we're driving from the inside. Um, then from there, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do, so we'll try and figure it out as we go. But anyway, let's go ahead and take it into the workbench and get working. Okie dokie, so first things first, let's go ahead and delete most of this. There we go. We're then going to delete most of that too. There we go. Fantastic. We're also going to delete these guys. We're going to replace it with this. Hey, there we go. And um, yeah, we're essentially just going to do two of these and hopefully that'll look okay. Bosh. There we go. Brilliant. Nice. The other thing that we can do as well is actually just go and smack one of these on right on the side of there and do this down the side. Way. All the way to the rear. Yeah, sure. Why not? Okay, then what we'll do is obviously fill in all of this right here. We'll send up all of these guys to actually fit in with everything else. And hopefully that will end up looking A-OK, -okay, which honestly I think it will. So do that right there. There we go. Fill this in right here. And yeah, I think that looks, it looks all right. So now obviously it goes straight up to there. I think that's good. I think it honestly fits. It works. It looks nice. And that's all we need. The rear is a little bit weird. I kind of want to like, I don't know what to do with the rear. I, I don't know. I feel like it should have a bit of a ridge over the top of this, but I don't know how much of a ridge. Maybe even just that. Maybe just that will be fine. I don't know. I think it looks cool though. <laughs> Honestly, I do think it looks cool. Anyway, uh, the infantry would jump in the back. They'd sit in benches along here. We'd have the driver at the front and that's probably it actually. But yeah, look at it. It's cool. Alright, so the next thing we need to somewhat work on is where the camera is going to go. Because realistically, we'd have a camera controlling this thing uh, and it would go somewhere in the middle of here. Somewhat like that, I guess. Um, if we were to do it like this, I think it is fine to do it just like that, uh, to be honest. Having the driver's seat somewhere in the middle, which again is fine. And uh, maybe moving it forwards a little bit too. So let's get ourselves a camera. Uh, no, say, sorry, a monitor, and see if we can, like, make it look okay. So, I want it to be nice to drive. So, the first thing I'm going to do is put it in here, have a relatively big monitor, and I think that'll be awesome. So, grab this, cut it, move it forwards. I don't want it to be in a position where the driver will die if we get shot in the face. However, that is likely, <laughs> that is likely going to happen. Um, there you go. Anyway, um, doo -doo 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 -doo, power switch, we're going to go with occupied right there. Infrared mode, we're not going to do any of this. Uh, we don't need to do that either. We just need the video to be translated to there. Okay, spawn it in. Let's get inside and see if we can drive it around and see if the monitor actually works. All right, here we go. Yeah, okay, we can see. And that is fine. Okay. It looks a little bit weird, it being just out there on the front, but I think I'm okay with it. Maybe. It looks a little bit futuristic with that just there. Uh, I, I don't actually mind it. So we're going to leave it literally just like that. Very strange, but it's also okay. And it works. So that's good. That is actually very good. I might zoom in a little bit too. So if we can get a number. Da -da 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 -da. If we can get a number and we can zoom it in. Actually, if we do it with a throttle lever, it'll be easier. Uh, put that right there. And if we can attach this up to here. There we go. Um... We'll be able to figure out how much zoom we actually want. I, I still want to be able to see the... Uh, I, I still want to be able to see itself. But there you go. 0 0.58. That's what we need. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay, so. Get ourselves a number. Duh, 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 as said before. Here it is. A constant number. Um, and I'm going to put it right here. This is going to go up to the camera zoom. There we go. And that number is going to be 0.58. Actually, not 0.55. That seems more... More... Uh, about a number. <laughs> I guess. Okay, here we go. So if we jump in the back. Do, do, do. We close it up. We run to the front. Yes. Oh, that looks so much better, actually. All right, I love it. So far, so good. All right, so the next thing this thing really needs is actually an engine. So uh, I think that's what we're going to do now. We need to somehow build an engine into this. Um, what I'm going to do 
is have the engine actually be right at the front. I know that's not really where you want it to be, um, but on a lot of them they are. They are actually at the front. Uh, we're going to have the driver positioned right here, and the engine is going to fit in right here, and that's going to be okay. So box this off, just like so. There we go, merge that in with that. And there we go, so we've now essentially just got a box in the back where all of the, uh, where all of the soldiers sit, including the driver and stuff like that. So that's, all, that's not bad. Okay, anyway, uh, box this off right there, that's fine. Um, what we will do, because it's right there staring at me in the face, we'll put a fire extinguisher straight in here. Bosh, there we go. Uh, we need to put some seats in as well, and the engine needs to go in here. Hopefully we've got enough room for an engine. And the other thing is, as well, we need to figure out where all the fuel's gonna go. Because at the minute, I don't know. <laughs> at the minute, I don't know where the fuel will actually sit. And um, that's quite tricky, actually. Yeah, because if we put the engine in the front and we put all the weight in the front, then um, the buoyancy is going to be way off and it's going to be weird. So I'm not sure about this, actually. All right, well, doesn't really matter. So for now, we're just going to go ahead and build an engine in and hopefully it will look good. So crankshaft, uh, one, two, three. There we go. So we can have that. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, right. That is actually nine uh, bits. This is all we need. This is it. <laughs> it's a tiny engine, but hopefully it works. So put that there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and position... Where are the other things? So we need one of these on one side. Uh, like that. There we go. It's going to be crossways. That is probably fine. Uh, on the other end, we need a clutch. So there we go. That's it. We're then going to put in a bunch of cylinders. Do, 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 do. There we go. One. Uh, in fact, we're going to try and surround this with cylinders. I think that's going to be fine. So currently we got six. Now we got seven, eight, and nine. And uh, that'll be okay, I think. All right, I need to remember how to actually build engines. <laughs> that is something that needs to be remembered here. Um, okay, that's all good. Engine, let's go again. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Attach these guys all to each other. All right, so we know we've got that. Uh, coolant and the coolant manifolds and stuff. I can't remember where they actually attach to. Um, I don't know whether it's the cylinder or whether it's everything else. Um, is it? What is this attached to? Uh, does, uh, like, does it attach to the cylinder? Uh, attach a manifold to a cylinder to provide... Yes, okay, it goes to a cylinder. So, actually, I'm going to go ahead and have this be like a big engine. There we go. That's fine. We're then going to attach this guy down to there. And that means they're all actually attached together, which is fantastic. So now... Do -do 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 -do, we can do all the starters and all that stuff. Let's do that first. So there's a starter. Good. An alternator would be great. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There we go. So we're going to put an alternator in. Uh, what else do we need? So yeah, a coolant thing. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, so the coolant is, is a little bit of an issue here. Because what we're going to have to do is get a coolant pump. Alright, one of these. Uh, shove it on there like this. We're going to delete this cylinder right here, which means we're going to delete that one. And we're going to put this right here to connect those together. Okay, that's fine. So... How do we go about doing this now? Who knows? Who knows? In fact, what's the best way of doing this? What's the easiest way? Um, we're just going to attach this under here, like this. Um, and then the pipes are going to be really annoying and weird, but that's okay. So, put this here, like this. Boop. We're then going to have the pipe go all the way around the front of the engine. And into this side. Because <laughs> that's sort of how it needs to be. I don't think... Whoa! I don't think we need, like, um... What do you call it? I, I don't think we need a, a tank in this at all. But, um, yeah, this this is definitely going to work. There we go. So that comes around. If we can grab that straight pipe there. All right, bring it this way. One, two. And then bring it this way. One, two. And then attach them together. There we go. So the coolant is now in. It's weird. I know, but it's fine. Okay, so now that we've got the coolant, we've got an alternator. We've got a starter. We now need air supply, we need an exhaust, and we also need a fuel supply. So the air supply will go here. I actually have it point upwards, because the air needs to come out through the top. Oh, what is this attached to? Oh, it's right in front of this? Of course it is. <laughs> That's really annoying. Okay, the air supply is going to have to go into the main bit of the vehicle. That's okay. Uh, the fuel tank also is probably going to go through the main bit of the vehicle. Because uh, I probably want it at the back. We'll see. So if we put this here like this, that's fine. And then the exhaust doesn't overly matter. 
actually. So I'm just going to go ahead and pump that straight out and through the floor. Uh, yeah, that, that might be a bit weird, but it's fine. Okay, so uh, fluid port. Here we go. Do, 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 do. We're going to grab one of those. We're going to put it right there. And we're going to get a catalytic converter. And we're going to put that right there. The other way around, turns out. There we go. So we've got one catalytic converter on it. Um, all the fuel is going to go... Oh, sorry. The exhaust is going to go through the floor. Uh, the air supply, I don't know where to send it to. Um, I'm thinking we delete this. And then we send it in a line backwards, but we can't. It's going to have to go... Oh. Ugh. I don't know what to do here. Delete this. Do one, two, three. There we go. Have it go up. And backwards, and then up, and then into there, and then the S-Ply can actually just go at the top of here. Um, oh, there? Oh, yikes. Okay, I actually has to go quite far back in order to get out, but that's okay. So, uh, pipes, let's do this. Let's do it together. I don't miss this about Stoneworks, by the way. I, I really don't miss doing pipes. Um, it's just something that is a necessary evil in this game. <laughs> you just have to do them. All right, angle. Uh, that way, yes. A straight pipe. Yes. Another angle. Take it up. There we go. Take it backwards. There we go. Actually having pipes visible in here, I think is fine. There we go. So that's going to go that way. It's then going to go upwards. Um, go backwards. And then go through the roof there. One. And then up. There we go. And then a fluid valve port thingamabobby, whatever you call them, fluid port, here we go, it's going to go right there. So that's our air supply. It's a bit weird and a bit out in the open, but it is fine. It should work. Uh, the fuel supply is the other issue. And it's quite a big one, to be honest. It is quite a big issue. All right, I don't mind. Uh, it's actually going to stay in the front. That's okay. So um, there's a bunch of stuff that actually has to happen here. Essentially, we need a clutch uh, for each of these, All right, which is, of course, the tracks. That's where they're powered from, the front. Uh, and then we need gearboxes, probably on those two, so I don't know with what's more effective anymore. I, I actually really don't know. Is having the gearbox straight into there better than having a single gearbox here? Uh, no, and then, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but essentially, is having a gearbox on each side better or worse than having one gearbox and then from the gearbox splitting it into two places? I don't know. I, I actually really don't know. Um, clutch. All right, here we go. So clutch is going to go in there. Gearbox is going to go... Oh, we're going to do it this way. So gearbox. Here we go. Straight back towards the engine. We're then going to go ahead and have two of those. Yep. We're going to have pipes. Here we go. And they're going to go up. Actually, backwards. There we go. And then it's going to have to go sideways from there. So this is fine. Here we go. Do this. One. Yes. I think we're going to actually control the thingy from the engine too. The... The electric, not the electric, the boat props and stuff like that. I think they might be done from the engine too, but we'll see. Anyway, um, da -da 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 -da, delete those. I'm going to go ahead and replace them with these. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, this is where our fuel is going to be. Um, and not a lot of it, it turns out. <laughs> There's going to be like hardly any fuel in this thing. But anyway, uh, let's do this. How much room can we actually get out of this is the question. Uh, let's do that, that. Uh, da, 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 da. This. Alright, it's gonna have to be like that. It's okay. Um, actually, it's literally just gonna have to be this much. This is ridiculous. There's not very much fuel gonna be in this. Um, yeah. <laughs> problems! We got problems! Alright, do that one there. One, two, three. There we go. Seal that one off. We're gonna go ahead and bring this to across there somewhere and seal this bit off. Uh, one and two. And then we're going to seal this bit as well, like this, except the fuel is going to go straight in. So we need a fluid port, and then we should be good. So whack that there. Seal this bit off right there and right there, and then seal this off as well, because I don't think it's sealed. So we're going to have to do that, and also this. And that's it. This is our fuel tank. It is weird, I know, but it's fine. So fluid. Do -do 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 -do. We need a sensor, which is a meter. And we also need a spawner, uh, wherever that is. Doo, doo, doo. There it is. All right, spawner. So now we actually have fuel. We have air. We have exhaust. And we also have um, coolant. All right, it's all done. It all should work now. <laughs> Maybe. So if we spawn this in, 
I want to see how it floats. I really want to see how it floats. Uh, so what we'll do is save it. Uh, yep, yeah, save IFV. There we go. We're going to put this left motor to left clutch, right motor to right clutch, and now it should work. This is always going to be on, I think. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay, so. Um, oh, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be more tricky than I thought, actually, which is a little tiny bit annoying. Delete those. We need a throttle. Here we go. That's going to go right there, like so. This is going to be connected to... Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, I need the... I, I need the microcontroller for the engine. One second. Save this as this. There we go. Load up. Uh, do, 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 do. Probably this. I think this probably has the microcontroller in it. I'm not sure, though. It does, but I don't know where it is. It's this one. Okay, we need this. Give me it. Copy. There we go. And then put it in our actual fighting vehicle. This is weird, but there you go. Also, uh, if you haven't noticed already, I am ill. <laughs> this is, which is why my voice sounds so strange. Sounds very weird, um, but it's okay. Anyway, uh, move this into here. There we go. Flip it. Turn it around. Paste it. I guess it can just go there. That's fine. Uh, merge this with this. I need to connect all of these guys together too. So this is the throttle input, which is going to be this guy. Um, air throttle, which is this one. Fuel throttle, which is this one. RPS of the engine, which is that. And what's the other thing I need? What is the other thing I need? We need a key, and we also need a starter. Okay, hang on. Key. Do, 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 do. Key. Yes. We're going to go ahead and put that. I would love to put it there. It's actually going to go in the floor. Yeah, so connect this to there. Okay. So far, so good. It's bit, it's very crazy right now, but it should work, I think. Uh, we now need another number. We need another number, and it's going to be 1. Or it's going to be like 0 0.7 or whatever it is it's going to be. Okay, whack this in here. Connect this to this clutch, and connect it to this clutch, and connect it to that clutch. There we go. That number is always going to be 1. Okay? 1. Bosh. There we go. Good. Okay, so, uh, now, if we spawn this in, we should be able to move. <laughs> we should be able to move, I think. W and S, A and D. Yes, yes. Okay. We're going to go ahead and give this a gear, which is just going to be 3 to 1. This is also going to be 3 to 1. Go. All right. Who thinks it'll actually move? I, I kind of don't. I, I, I really doubt it at this point, but we'll see. Press 1. Oh, no, it's not one. It's the key. Okay, it's stalled out. It, it's stalled out. Like, it is working, but it's stalled. So this can't be as high. It has to be, like, way less. Three to two. Three to two. Let's see if that works. We'll see. It might. It might not. Da -da 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 -da. All right, press this and this. It's struggling. Is my engine not big enough? It's got so many cylinders. All right, it needs to be more. We need we need to change it. I think it needs more torque. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, just go to one to one for now. See if that'll work. One to one. One to one. Um, grip. I guess we could do like less grip. We could do eighty percent, and then it's got less pressure to deal with. Um, the other thing is, a clutch. No, what's it called? A clamp? Here we go. We might be able to put a clamp in to uh, limit something. <laughs> right, okay, put that there. Attach the clamp to this. Attach... Oh, we need two clamps. Of course we do. There, okay, right, we're clamping things. So this clamp goes to there, that clamp goes to there. Uh, this is the left motor, that is the right motor. Okay, and the clamp is going to be 0.7. Uh, max value, not 0.7. There we go, do the same thing here. 0.7. Okay, and then... They're still connected to the seats, that's good. Alright, let's see if this works. It might work, it might not work, we'll see. Alright, in we go. Close that up. Let's do this and this. Oh no. 
Oh no! All right, I need to see the engine. I want to see what's actually dying on this. So delete these. Uh, actually, probably better off on this side. No, nope, we're not. Uh, delete those. There, that's a cylinder. Okay, go. Hopefully this will work. So, if we do this, we get inside. We do this and this. All right, the engine is doing stuff. I can't tell what it's doing though. Something's going. It's going a bit crazy. The exhaust looks like it isn't working. Let's jump on the outside and have a little look. Let, let me out. There we go. Is there any exhaust? I don't think so. I well, don't think the exhaust's working. Oh, the exhaust is working. Okay. So now we look at this. The engine's just not strong enough, is it? It's not strong enough for us. Um, what's the best way of dealing with that then? I, I honestly think it might just be to turn the gearbox around uh, and have it be the other way around. So do this. And then have some gears in there. So three to two. Do the same thing on this side. Sorry. I can't get to it. Hang on. Just undo that. Undo that. Do this. Then delete it. Hey, there we go. And then put it on. And then make that three to two. Same with this one. Three to two. Bosh. Okay. That might give us more of a chance, because it's like adding torque, hopefully. <laughs> That's what I want it to be doing, anyway. A little bit better. A little bit better. Okay. Uh, do a bit more. There we go. Two to one. Two to one. Go! Is this going to work? Open the door. Jump inside. Alright, engine. Works. Drive. Yikes. Yikes. Exhaust 0% again. But then exhaust 100%. Why is the exhaust doing that? I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't understand. Uh, let's get rid of the catalytic converter, shall we? Maybe that's a problem. I don't see why it would be, but maybe it is. Alright, so attach this directly onto... Onto there. There we go. Good. If we need to, we can we can have another exhaust to actually poke out of this. But I don't think we need it. Like, I, I legit don't think we need it, but we'll try. Alright, delete that. Grab this one. Put that in. Now we've definitely got enough exhaust. Like, we definitely do. Let's see what happens. In we go. Close this up. It feels like it should be strong enough, it's just not. You know? You know what I mean? Mm, it's not quite right, but it's driving, sort of. Also, if you wondered where I'm going, I'm trying to get to the beach. Uh, that's, that's where I want to be. Oh, yikes, that was a big drop. Okay, go. Put it in the water. Okay. So I wanted to see what it floated like, even with all the fuel in the front, and also the engine in the front. It actually seems to float somewhat okay. Like, it's a bit off, obviously, but it's not too bad. Okay, right, we're leaving it as is. We might need to fix this engine. <laughs> it might need to be more powerful, we'll see. But, um, it's actually okay for now, so that's that's fine. What The other thing is that I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to go ahead and drop the max power of this down to like 10% on each of them. Um, and what that does is stops it from flopping, or actually makes it flop about a little bit, because I, I do want it to. So we're going to go ahead and do that. There we go. Make it flop, please. Make it flop. Come on. All right, here we go. Down to 10. There we go. Down to 10. Yes, there we go. And this one, finally, down to 10. There. Okay, spawn it in. The way that we see if that will do it is we do this don't think it does even though it's got max power like max power down to 10 percent i don't think it's gonna work because the only other way we could do it is obviously if we turn off i can make it zero but i don't want to make it zero but is the wind interacting with these they seem a bit stuck they shouldn't be stuck at all and i don't know what they're doing 
Alright, so, I mean, it has an engine in it, it's just not a very good one, it turns out. But, uh, we'll, we'll deal with that in the future. Anyway, for right now, what do you guys think of the way this looks? I, I think it actually looks pretty good. Um, I think this bit on the top actually looks pretty sick, so thank you, Seb, for suggesting, suggesting that I change it. Um, and yeah, I think the camera in the middle it is a bit weird, but I do think it fits. So, there you go. Anyway, um, if you guys have any, uh, suggestions on how to fix the, uh, whole you know, driving issue, <laughs> the whole engine underpowered issue, uh, let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.